came on as the sub. Connor McDonald stepped back in board, but only as far as Ollie Wines, and he's a little too hot by hand. Mitchell again, great carry. Swarple went back. Burn Jones released to Josh Ward. Could this be his first goal in the AFL? Josh Ward, he's got it. What a moment for that young man. You can see the mindset. There, so. Yeah, good coach. I was going to say to you, Richard. Look at the courage there, and then the mindset to play on on your knees and give it to someone. Moore and Wingard fight for the same ball. It's that sort of night for Hawthorne. Wingard playing for the free kick. It certainly was a case for one being there. Butterick's clearing ball. Casbolt can't keep possession. Sicily, awkward kick. Ballard. Missed punch by Collins. Lewis to Wingard in Wingard's sort of areas. Chad Wingard knows angles like a genius. Just trying to milk the free kick. He's the one that you feel needs to catch fire to get them back into this contest. He does. He can, and he can do that on a regular basis and not fluke it because that's the skill set he has. He can kick those goals. Gives himself a, just a, that's a cheeky look. 40,663, Wingard, can the Hawks get a rare clearance? Impey with speed, here come the Hawks again. Wingard, Warple, he had one opportunity, he has another to really narrow the margin! Wow! wow. That took 16 seconds, and the Hawks are within two kicks. Charging off their, um, their line, and I love this Bucks, look at them both, Scrimshaw and Impey from the back of the square. So they've got a plan. They don't care. They'd rather lose by five goals and not ask the question. So the ball gets bounced and they just went bang from the back of the square. Look at them there. Bang, bang, goal. So now the Richmond half forwards have been given some notice. This is what's coming. They're going to ask the question. It's 10 points. Kolodesny to defend. Bruce wobbles it forward. Lewis all on his own can walk in and seal the deal. Hawthorne defence did a great job there just to get it going back. And Luke Bruce stays down from that contest. And somehow Mitch Lewis, maybe a little bit sore from hitting the fence before, but didn't squeeze up, found himself all by himself in the Ford 50. And Put, used every second. Made sure that clock ran a little bit further than what he needed to. Chance to go back and kick Hawthorne's third goal before Geelong have had a disposal. What a start! He's always oh. hunting after the man in the footy. For number three, that is beautiful! They're young players, but then the composure to go back. That's not an easy kick, especially in these conditions. Starts the tap, but Ward the crumb pokes it forward into the hands of McDonald. Hawks a chance for another opportunity here to the front of the square. Lewis, Bruce, Moore's got four. Talk about efficient footy. Four inside 50s this quarter for the Hawks, three goals. And Dylan Moore, what a start. Four goals already. Wits wanted Ballard, there's some tired bodies out there now. Mitch Lewis, driving ball to the goal square, beautiful strike, it might be home, it is. See the build up here, and Mitch Lewis, as most players do, misses the regulation set shot, but kicks the one outside 50 with heavy legs. <laughs> And it's a very, very good goal at this stage in the game with heavy legs. At the Hawks with a nice little buffer. Lewis. And then McGuinness Ward again to the square. Genuine one on one. Duggan got a touch to it. With a nice strike. It's just a player playing to his strengths there. Blank could have just blazed away to the top of the square, but he had a good runner beside him. He has not hit that where he wanted to. Kozitski's in the pack. And Brian there as well. Out it comes to Morrison. 
to Lewis, already kicked three, brushed the tackle. How about four? He's firing. Well, the big fella's having himself a, a day on the left foot, stepping out of tackles. He got one earlier when he got the ground ball as well. Beautiful set shot. Nash now. Got runners in board. McDonald's one of those. Jaya O'Meara. Bounce. High one here. Keith's got to come back. Brilliant mark. Play on. Taken by Dylan Moore. Goal, Hawks. Revolt stays down, as does Granger Barras. And Newcomb. Works out OK to O'Meara. Used his body on Rioli. Sends it in the direction of Moore. It bounces all the way. Skips on the wet deck. And the Hawks open their account. Just losing their one-on-one -on -one contest. And here, they finally get a win. So, you know, we talk about inside 50 is a really good measurement. Well, you've got to have some wins between the forward, between the circle and the 50-metre arc. And then you get more hitting back the goal and a couple of other things happening. But that's the area that they've struggled with a bit early, the Hawks. And they finally get a win and they finally get a goal. And that was a really well dis Moore plays on midfield. Shields can go. Looks around and options are plenty. Jack on the move. Blasts it towards goal. Chenku Jack got it there. Chenku Jack first goal in AFL footy. And Newcomb was coming off the half forward line. He comes up into the play trying to get numbers and they're trying to generate run. They're somehow trying to get an overlap, trying to bring, bring their half-back runners into play. And in this instance, it's their best. Jats is able to get on the end of it and kick the goal. So they're taking a little bit of a risk by you know, playing with 5-4. Yeah, he's trying to milk that. I know it's, some people would say it's got to be a better tackle. Amir is out the back, he's away, he's got space in front of him. Gunston will turn and come back at him if he gets the opportunity. Gunston continues to stream forward. Amir might go for home himself. Why wouldn't he? Let it go. Pick it up on centre wing. Yeah. So what's he carried it? So half the square's 25, there's 10 there, 35. Gets to halfway there. He's, he's run for... Daniel Wells. Daniel Wells yep. style in Perth. Yep. Luke Parker's done one before too. Slapped out. Here's McLean. Prone to Barras. O'Meara. Oh, more, more. I mean, he had an opportunity. He's Moore's big hanger. Oh. He's run down behind by Harry Morrison. Yeah, he got no, no support talk from behind there. You could, you could see he was in silence and just took too much time. Now Mitchell squeezes the ball into the pocket and on a long lead, Jack Gunston. Good luck to Jack today. Typically a fine finisher in front of goal. Runs out to the right. Hits the ball well. Does it hold its line? Indeed it does. First goal for the Hawks. And Jack Gunston paying tribute to his father. That's Juan well, Francis. Francis. Just came on the ground as well. He's got up. Yeah, we'll have a boot lace mark now, right down the middle. Bruce, beautiful on the left foot to the charging Gunston who kicked the opener of the game. One from just on 50 to start the match, did Jack Gunston. Holds it against the breeze, kicks his second. Hawthorne have got six in the opening term. So what with that doom, yes. 35 out, Gunston, typically a good finisher, has his third. Two in the first for Gunston, one in the third. Jack's back, he's got four. You see the North Melbourne numbers down the line, so Scrimshaw goes sideways. Hawks look to the Gunston lead in the pocket and he marks it. Both sides of the ground in the last 60 seconds. We haven't seen anyone kick a goal from this pocket. He won't. This afternoon. Gunston. Oh, hang on. Gunston. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Gunston. <laughs> Mosty. <Monster>. Number five. <laughs> Wonderful finish. I think the interactions with the umpires are getting better and better too. Paddy Ryder was disappointed, he's in the heat of the moment and just speaks in a calm way to the umpire. Couldn't, couldn't agree with you more, Lee Mitch Lawrence! Wow! The Ryder 
free kick. Look at this grab from Mitch Lewis, like it catches Mick oh. in one hand <laughs> and then grabbed it in the other.